continuing from the previous video describing women as weaker or inferior now here's what i do believe like i said earlier i do not at all think that women are inferior to men not even for a moment that should take the wind out of the sails of anyone who is waiting to pounce on me for pronouncing women inferior in fact i believe that a great number of women are smarter than their men god has given women phenomenal brain power as i believe that god has placed the tremendous responsibility of bringing up children primarily on the shoulders of women first of all the feminist if she has her way will not want children at all as she feels that children are a hindrance to her career the bible clearly defines the place of children in god's heart when he says and why did he make them one he was seeking godly offspring and when he remarks in the very next verse Indeed the Lord God of Israel says that he hates divorce. We get a glimpse into why he hates divorce so much. Knowing that it is the children who go through a traumatic time for no fault of theirs and that they may be adversely and irreversibly affected by that trauma. We know that it would tear into God's heart to see the children go through such misery. Secondly, having been blessed with children, we should provide a warm, safe, secure and comfortable home for them. See what feminism thinks about pregnancy. Libby Ann writes about her pregnancy. I am currently inhabited by a parasite. I have voluntarily let this little parasite feed off my body. It was my choice to invite it in. but that doesn't make it any less a parasite technically speaking by the way libby ann was born and raised an evangelical christian but later on left christianity to become a feminist this is how feminism would like you to view your baby a parasite and when the baby is born he is going to take up a huge amount of your time how are you going to view your little baby then when you already have described him as a parasite when you were pregnant with your little baby and have you forgotten that you yourself were once a parasite feeding off somebody else's body raising children is not a part time job you cannot spend most of your waking hours in a demanding job and expect that your child will grow up automatically that is the most ridiculous thing that i have heard raising children is a job that takes up all your time 24 by 7 by 52 for at least 17 to 18 years as i was writing the script i saw a front page news item today a mother stepped out for just 6 minutes and her 3 year old twins got into a washing machine and drowned raising children 24 by 7 A mother away from her infant for most of his waking hours is cruelty to the infant. Not being there for her toddler day after day is heartless. Dishing out tasteless and bland food for her children is taking away their right to good food. Expecting a teenager to take care of himself is to abandon him at the time he needs you the most. If one can write a program to compare how the same child will grow up in two different situations it could throw some light into our problem Let's see first situation a loving and caring home mother present full time the father during much of the holidays parents spend a lot of time with the children less comforts less gadgets less money no luxuries but happy and contented Situation 2 a luxurious home where both parents are working and hence absent for long hours parents spend very little time with the children more comforts gadgets luxuries and lots of money less contentment keep in mind we are comparing christian homes only here it is obvious that children raised in a loving caring atmosphere would develop into well-rounded adults brimming with confidence 
with deeply embedded values in life achievement oriented on the other hand children raised in situations where either parents presence was a premium would develop not very confident adults accustomed to getting whatever they want not having to work for anything in their lives not having a hold on positive values etc of course this is oversimplified exaggerated and generalized many other factors should be taken into account such as the presence of grandparents input of the church influence of friends complexity of the mother's job etc however the point i wish to make here is that the absence of both parents for a major part of the day will definitely affect the child any mari slaughter a confirmed feminist and the first woman director of policy planning at the state department usa at the height of her glorious career suddenly decided to quit her job so that she could spend more time with her teenage sons an action that sent shock waves throughout the feminist world she wrote an article entitled why women cannot have it all i have added the download link in the box below this video of course as expected she faced a barrage of criticism from the feminist world it is worth taking a look at this article another thing is happening right under our noses couples who are convinced that the wife should stay at home and take care of their kids have fallen silent are you thinking that you made a mistake are you looking at the freedom and luxurious life of the christian woman next to you who has a successful career and saying to yourself that could be me you need to speak out loud and clear like miss lotter so that young men and women about to embark on their lives will sit up and take note another thing we think we need to provide for our children and so we work our socks off trying to give the child everything he wants and assuring that he inherits a lot of money when we die but here's the funny thing when your child is growing up knowing that his parents are going to leave behind a huge amount of money flat jewelry are you naive enough to believe that he will go full steam equipping himself for a great career he will say to himself i have everything i need why should i work hard to get ahead in life on the other hand the child who knows that his parents are not going to leave him a fortune he will do his best to equip himself to be able to get the best out of his education and strive for a much better job the question most feminists ask is what do you want me to sit at home and do nothing <laughs>